Hi, so last week I went and saw I Dream at the Alliance Theater and I took my mom to go see it. It was amazing. Um, here's the little brochure that they give you. Um, I went and saw it at Alliance Theater in Atlanta and it's the world premiere, it says that on there. Um, so it's apparently going to New York, so you guys got to the look out for that. I highly recommend it. It was directed by Jasmine Guy. They have like a little section in here that I thought was pretty interesting about um, her picking this piece and directing it. She did an amazing job. I've actually never heard of her until um, this thing, which is not surprising. I've never heard of anybody. But um, it was uh, really cool to see that. Um, it's a play about Martin Luther King, him growing up during the Civil Rights Movement, what inspired him, and uh, basically his life. Um, and it was really, really good. Um, some The guy who played Martin Luther King was amazing. His voice, um, here we go, Quentin Earl Darlington, his voice was simply phenomenal. It was, and he was like running all over the stage. Everything was perfectly smooth, effortless, effortless. Um, let's see, the girl who played Coretta, his wife, was Demetria McKenney, and she's from Tyler Perry's House of Pain. I've never seen the show, but, um, she is really good. She actually... Um, does a lot of Broadway stuff too, musicals, and her voice is like so soulful, so deep. It it was mind blowing. One of the songs she sings, I actually want to do for an audition because, like, I I heard the song and I turn to my mom and I go, Oh my God, I have to sing that because it was so good. I'm gonna try to put a link to the song somewhere so that you guys can look it up too because it was amazing. Um, the little kids who played um, young Martin and you know, his uh, little white friend was, they were so cute. They were so adorable. They were like best friends. They didn't understand why they couldn't be friends and, you know, the whole um, civil rights thing. And actually the dad of the little white boy was someone I know, Tony Desario Hoops. He was actually the MC at the Triple Threat Theater Workshop that I did last summer. So it was really cool to see someone I know in a play. I've never seen someone I know in a play before. It was totally mind-blowing um, to see that. And he's really good. He had a really significant part in the play, and I was surprised. I thought he was just... I don't know, I just didn't think it would be that big of a part, and it was amazing. Okay, sorry. Um, also, this guy, Bob Carlyle, he wrote and performed Butterfly Kisses, and um, he played the priest who kind of, um, kind of helped Martin through the whole civil rights movement and encouraged him and stuff like that. Um... At the end of the play, I was actually surprised when um, they shot Martin Luther King. Like, the whole time I was expecting it. I was, like, teary-eyed and crying and expecting it. And when it actually happened, I was like, oh, my gosh. And it was, like, heart-wrenching. Um, it was a little anticlimactic because it happened all of a sudden. But d he laid there forever, and they were, like, mourning over him. And it was, it was really sad. Um, especially Coretta. Oh my gosh. I felt so sorry for her. Okay. The set was very minimal and it didn't take away from the piece, which I really appreciated. Um, a lot of times the set could be really elaborate. There weren't that many props. Um, they actually pantomimed drinking, um, coffee in a coffee shop, which I actually liked because it focused the play on what was happening and not you know, the extra stuff, the important, the themes of the play were still there. Okay, um, the music of the play was amazing. I went in expecting, since this was a play about black people, to hear, like, black people music, 
but they treated it as a musical, which is what it is. It's a musical. So the music in it sounded like a musical, which I loved. It still had the soulful, jazzy type um, kind of in the background, but it still sounded like a musical. I really appreciated that. Um, one of the main themes that I really liked from this was how this young black kid was fighting so hard to get into college to further his career to be I think he wanted to be a lawyer or something anyway you don't see that anymore you don't you don't see it people we don't take advantage of what we have in front of us and we don't think about our ancestors who had to fight so hard to get where we are now it's amazing I feel like um that it's it's not appreciated as much as it should be and it's almost okay for people to just stop after high school or to just get a two-year degree or something you know people my age already have kids and stuff and they just give up and don't go to college and it's okay to be a single mom and all this these values that were fought so hard for are given up and I like how this um, this play kind of reminded us of where we came from um, some of the things that I took away from this, um, the musicals in general, not just this one, require a lot of breath support, um, and control of your breathing, and that's one of the things that I have trouble with, so that's one of the things that I noticed, um, and all the, um, actors and actresses have to be extremely fit. They're running all over the stage, not getting out of breath. You know, I would be, I would be exhausted after, like, one scene. Let me show you. This was, like, the whole act one and two. They did all those songs. Can you see that? All those songs, all those, um, scenes. And by the end of the play, they were, like, perfectly fine. And I would have been dying like on the floor oh my gosh um so yeah I totally suggest this play to anybody it's going to New York hopefully it'll go on tour or something so everyone can see it it's really phenomenally amazing um one of the other things I really liked was how the cast was mixed it wasn't all black cast and that's some of the things that I've been noticing lately um in musicals is either all black or all white cast and I love to see that it was mixed even though this play was about civil rights movement it still showed that the white people were involved with the civil rights movement was it all black people um, I really appreciate that so go see it it was awesome it was amazing you'll love it take your parents take your grandparents take your little siblings to go see it anybody all right bye